Excellences, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I feel really very honored to be standing in front of you today and discuss the matters that are concerning both Italy and Somalia and Africa and Europe as well. I would say that the matter of Somali-Italian relations are one that is very much valued on our two sides. And this is the basis upon which we can build an even brighter future together. In addition, there are those friends of both Somalia and Italy who have joined us tonight, like ambassadors, diplomats from other missions in Rome. And I also wanted to welcome them warmly in this great hall. As I always say, there is always a room for more friends to join us in our journey of hope, progress, and prosperity in Somalia. Somalia and Italy have a strong historical ties and a strong people-to-people -people relations anchored on a deep bond of trust, friendship, and interdependency in this rapidly changing world. Italy is indeed a broad, progressive, and prosperous nation playing a key role in the world, and we are very much glad that it is also one of Somalia's most important developmental bilateral and multilateral partners at this critical time of a positive change and reform taking place in Somalia. During my visit here in Italy this week, I had enormous pleasure of holding bilateral discussions with the leadership of this great nation, including their excellencies, President Sergio Mattarella and Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni. Both were wonderful and truly valued the historic relationship between Somalia and Italy. And most important, the outcome of our discussions was that we agreed on creating joint opportunities and overcome global challenges together, including tackling international terrorism. This is both reassuring and exciting for us all. Italy remains a real champion for Somalia, bilaterally and multilaterally, within the European Union and the United Nations. Italy, like so many other uh, key global friends, has welcomed our people before and after the difficult period of our recent history. I met many successful and productive Somali-Italian citizens that are doing amazing work, both in Italy and in Somalia. I'm also confident at least, at least some of you in this meeting room today recall the great memories of Somalia. Its beauty, generous, courageous people, as well as living and doing business, not only in our country, but with our region and our continent in Africa. It's a, our, within, with my government plans to build the country through making it secure from international terrorism, stable with political inclusivity and prosperous with economic reforms and development. These will not be just memories of long, but a reality that will all benefit from on the ground. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we have embarked on a hopeful and exciting journey of transforming Somalia by prioritizing security, economic development, good governance, and delivering basic public services to our people. As a path to success, we all know that Rome was not built a day, but it was built nevertheless and stands steady and strong today, like the rest of the world. One of our key security goals that we det will determine the future of Somalia is to defeat the international terrorist group Al-Shabaab, one of Al-Qaeda's most violent and morally bankrupt affiliates in the world. This group has killed, maimed, and subjugated the Somali people since their evil inception and we are now responding bravely 
as a government and people by saying no more terror and destruction. Our people are answering our government's call to revolt against Al-Shabaab terrorism. And since these local uprisings began, the Somali armed forces have been able to liberate a historical amount of territory from the grip of terror. Here, I would like to recall our partners in the war against terrorism, among which the United States, for the first time in the history of Somalia and in the history of the partnership, we are jointly operating. The Americans and the Somalis are jointly in the field fighting against the terror in the daytime. In the, in the daytime and in the nighttime. So the terrorists remain on their heels to run. This is a great pleasure. Also, similarly, our other partners like Turkey and the European Union as a whole, which the Italians are major part of that war in Somalia. Other countries, mainly our African Union mission in Somalia, our neighboring countries, which I recently has invited the heads of state summit in Mogadishu, the all three frontline states has joined hands with Somalia to defeat Al-Shabaab once for all inside Somalia for, so that our region becomes very stable and prosperous, uh, his region in the global world of today. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Italy was among the most prominent investors in Somali major infrastructure in the past, including roads and hospitals, key industries and human development. It was in the partnership with the Italian government that the Somali National University was established in the 1970s and operated a extremely popular and beneficial academic exchange programs with the Italian universities here in Italy. Arguably, this strong constructive partnership contributed enormously to the creation of the Somali professional class that is still serving Somalia today after a long period of elapse. The Italian language was popular and widely spoken, easily to learn as a, our two people live it with and among each other, while Somali Ireland flew from Mogadishu to Rome as its premier route in Europe. Most of the Somali population support the Italian football teams, Le Azzurri in particular, the Italian national team. In the international meetings, many people still do, and this is a special people-to-people -people bond that we must re-energize once again. These are not nostalgic memories of the past, but an opportunities that I feel can be regained with a purpose, purposeful refocus on a further strengthening Somali-Italian cultural, educational, trade, and economic ties alongside security cooperation. Italy has a broad record of innovation-led economy growth and makes it one of the top economies in the world today. Yet, despite the individual efforts of every government, the reality is that our world today is now more than interconnected than ever before. And without enabling productive international economic partnership across the world, both Italy and Somalia will find it difficult to overcome our growth and developmental challenges of the 21st century. Somalia is truly rich in resources and our potential as a country is untapped yet. Also, Somalia is the gateway to Africa, the Middle East, the Far East. It is a connecting point where economic dreams converge with real global opportunities. It's a meeting point of diverse peoples and cultures. Accordingly, post Al-Shabaab Somalia has the potential to be among a world leaders in the, in the global economic architecture with competitive opportunities in logistics, agriculture, livestock, fisheries, energy, and the wider emerging blue economy. This provides the best opportunities for, Italy, for Italy's innovative private sector and their vast global network to explore 
invest, support our industries and people while making strong financial returns. Italian companies need, companies need to expand and gain greater global scale like all international business, businesses in Somalia. And Somalia is a natural home for them, especially as we are so strategically located in the Horn of Africa and are now actively participating in the efforts of economically integrated Horn of Africa as well as the East African community. The message to all Italian investors here in Italy is this. Come to invest your second home. And, and help us elevate Somalia's special relationship with Italy through joint economic progress and prosperity. The Somali federal government is working tirelessly to create a condu conducive investment environment to allow all investors, including Italians, to thrive through a legislation in all key sectors, good governance, and investment in our human capital. Our commitment to investors is clear from our successful reform under the rigorous International Monetary Fund Economic Reform Program, which we are on track in completing a timely manner to achieve debt relief at the end of this year. Again, we do thank Italy and all Paris Club creditors for their support, and we continue to count on our special relationship with Italy and others for the support of with, uh, with both relieving our bilateral debts and supporting us to access concessionary and private sector financing for major developmental projects through international financing institutions which will benefit both our nations and globally. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to conclude by, by repeating the significance of deepening Somali-Italian relationship through a marriage of our joint history and modern opportunities. Somalia truly considers Italy a valuable ally, unwavering friend, and a supporter in all opportunities and challenges. Somalia and Italy also have many wonderful common friends who are sent ambassadors and representatives to this great gathering today here in front of us. Gatherings today like the participants of today like the United States with whom we must cooperate even more closely to find more specific relationship for the years to come and the generations to come. The world including growing economies, tackling international terrorism, climate change as well as creating opportunities in all our countries so that nobody else ever feel that they have to leave their home to be successful in other industries. In every possible way, Italy is a special friend to the government and the people of Somalia, and we sincerely want to build a prosperous future for both that benefits for both our people and our nation.